Hello, good people of Adobe. Please forgive me for speaking so much crap about Premiere, but I want to show you a problem in Photoshop, which I use every day. All right, so what you're going to what you're looking at here is the lower left-hand corner at 400% because I can't show you the content of a piece I've been working on. And what you can see here are some hunks of text. Now, this is it is blown up 400%, but you can see, you know, by and large, they look pretty good. Now, the way these were generated was using uh, Photoshop and using the Generate Assets tool, okay? Generate Image Assets. Now, I actually have it turned off right now because my good friend Joseph Anashki has discovered a problem. And that problem is this. If you just, and, and this is a new problem, mind you. If you just let generate assets generate the PNG, so let me go back to the Photoshop here, so you can see what I've done here is I have like, here's a file, well actually let's do the exact file. So this one is called uh, Y Stocks 9, okay, Y Stocks Twitter 9. So if I go to the layer called Y Stocks Twitter 9, let's find that, and I turn it on, not 9B but 9, you can see, now let's do, uh, can I do the zoom tool? Uh, you can see, you know, it looks reasonably good. Now that's zoomed in a little much. It looks actually quite good. Now the problem is this. When I generate, is board spelled right? Board, I think so. When I generate image assets, what ends up happening is instead of it looking like this, now, notice the quality of the curves. And again, I know this is zoomed in. It looks like this. Whoa! Look at the G. Look at, look at all these curves. Now, this is a PNG. I'm generating PNGs. A PNG has a 8-bit alpha channel. This, to me, appears to be the alpha channel that a GIF would generate, because GIFs don't look as good as PNGs when you go into transparency mode. But it's clearly a PNG, and I'll show you. Here it is. It says dot, uh, right here, dot PNG. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to show you something. So this file was generated using, uh, this, is nine, uh, uh, this is 9B. So this file that you're currently looking at, keyed in, in Final Cut, is being, was generated using generate assets. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn on 9B. I have to turn off this bar down here because I'm just doing the, uh, the text. And I go save as, and I'm putting it in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on 9B to take its name. I'm going to change it to PNG. A lot of keystrokes that I have to do. And I hit Command R to replace and click OK. Now, I come back to Final Cut. And did you see that? Did you see the quality change? You could actually see it as I toggled in because Final Cut's just referencing the, the new file. Let's do another one. You'll watch it. So there, see all those diagonal lines? That's image 10. So I was able to use generate assets to generate the original files, but then I have to go back and redo all of this. There's number 10, a lot of clicking, a lot of clicking, command R. Now watch the file when I click into Final Cut. Ready? Boom. You can actually see it changing because it's like taking a different alpha channel. So. I don't know what's wrong. Joseph is writing this up too. This is a workflow we both use a lot. And it also is one that I've taught uh, on my YouTube channel in the past, which I'll put a link to below. But anyway, uh, can you help us out? What do we do here? Take care.